In Abaco, there is an appeal from the business community for more tax relief due to the current hardship caused by COVID-19. Here's Jamila Mizik. Abaco Chamber of Commerce President Ken Hutton is calling for the further extension of tax breaks given to residents on Abaco and Grants Bahama due to Hurricane Dorian. He says the imposition of the concessions was incredibly helpful in the very beginning, but once COVID-19 hit and the world economy shut down and the Bahamas closed its borders, it was virtually impossible for a lot of residents to take advantage of the concessions to rebuild. And that's basically what's been happening for the past you know, six, seven, eight months since the lockdowns happened. There was a lot of people that wanted to come back and start rebuilding that uh, were not able to do that before, say, March, because they were still dealing with insurance claims. And then uh, once they got the insurance claims, they couldn't come back. So we think that, you know, rather than it... Uh, you know, just ending them in December, I think that's going to cause tremendous hardship and on our ability to rebuild as, as quickly as possible. The chamber president says he has spoken to Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable K. Peter Turnquest, about the situation and says he has been very receptive in their discussions. He hasn't committed to anything yet, but the uh, discussions continue. And, um, and I'm hopeful that uh, we're going to come to some sort of uh, resolution that will, you know, that will help the government because, you know, we do understand the fiscal situation of the country right now. Um, but we also understand that, you know, we need to get through this uh, rebuilding process as quickly as possible so that we can really, you know, get Abaco econ Abaco's economy, um, you know, rolling as quickly as possible. And I think this is the best mechanism to do that. Hutton says there's no disputing that they've lost a minimum of seven to eight months due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which further stresses the need for the extension. I think that we need to look at something not only to encourage people to come back and rebuild, but also to encourage additional development. And I think that the, uh, the special economic zone concessions were ideal for that. So, I, I mean, ideally, we're looking at two years. But that is, you know, targeted. We're not looking for... Um, you know, a blanket duty and VAT free special economic zone concessions to continue as they sit now. We are we, we are cognizant of the issues and, you know, we're looking at sort of targeted concessions going forward. And he contends that while the extension is important, the reopening of the borders is paramount at this time. We need to get this economy. We need to get our borders back open. We need to get the development and the reconstruction really um, started in earnest. That's what will make the difference. Concessions are meaningless unless they can be used. Jamila Mizek, ZNS Network News.